Hey, what's up guys? So on this episode of Deanna's Gonna Catch Malaria because there's 10,000 swarms of Asian tiger mosquitoes flying around me right now. Um, <laughs> um, no, I'm only kidding. All right, so I just got this antique Victorian. Well, actually, I don't even think it's Victorian. I think it's um, maybe Georgian or George the Fifth. Wait, or George the Fourth? Yeah, obviously, I don't know what the hell it is, but it's a very, very old wooden tea caddy, and I believe it could be mahogany wood. I don't know, but as you can see, it's seen better days. So what I want to do is, it's really not restoring when you use this Restore Finish product. It's just uh, really making the blemishes and the flaws. Uh, pretty much uh, disappear, hopefully. <laughs> so we're going to use Restore Finish by Howard. Um, it's a really great liquid product, and it comes in many different colors. We're going to use mahogany, which I believe uh, pretty much matches up with this color the best. And so I want to make this antique tea caddy that I only paid $25 for on eBay uh, look much better. And again, as you can see, it has seen way better days. So get it, look at it before the Howards, and uh, let's get rocking and rolling. So um, in order to use this product, you need a couple of little supplies that you may have around the house. You can use um, an old beat up rag. You can use a steel wool pad to apply it or a paintbrush. Now, um, with something heavily flawed and scratched and damaged, your best bet is to use a steel wool pad, a very fine grade steel wool pad. I believe it's... Um, grade 000 or grade 0000 and you can get them for under five bucks on Amazon or your local hardware store so what you do is the first thing you do is shake up the product because it has pigment in it and you want to distribute that pigment all around and as you can see it started leaking already <laughs> I took the cork out previous to the video all right so I'm going to attach my phone to my little camera stand right now and get started all right, so um, this very old tea caddy, my guess is anywhere is between 1820 to 1850. Really need some help here. And I'm going to begin to show you in a moment. Now, I just wanted to show you the interior because it's uh, really quite cool to show you these old things. And you can see it's missing a knob. I'm going to um, actually replace a knob on that side. And uh, it's quite toasty. All right, so now I'm going to get out my steel wool pad. You always need to wear gloves because this stuff is very, very messy. And uh, you can use an old rag, like one of these type of deals, like a kitchen towel, an old uh, cut up t-shirt, or you can use, uh, here's, I'm gonna show you the steel wool pad. And I can't find it. Oh, here it is. <laughs> See, I'm a total scatterbrain. And actually I cut one in half because I don't wanna waste a whole pad. And uh, you can waste the whole pad if you want. These are very cheap. But um, I only have like four left, and I have many, many restorations that I need to work on. Let me fix my camera stand right now and lower it just a little bit. Okay, there we go. And so now I got my steel wool pad. What I'm going to do is place the Howard onto the pad. And you don't want to put too much, and you don't want to put too little. So just tip the bottle, and you can see the pigment, by the way. Tip the bottle onto the pad. You can see the products on there, and uh, we're going to start rocking and rolling on this. And the police are nearby. <laughs> I wonder what's going on. My neighborhood is quite odd. People are always doing something around here. That's Long Island for you. Now, you notice that white um, floor that we had on the top? It is now gone. I don't know if you can see that. But, uh, yeah. This stuff is working already. Working, it's Howard Miracle. And I'm gonna um, actually um, put this on the whole entire piece right now, and you're gonna watch me. And uh, let's see, this has a floor right there. Let's see what Howard's can do to help me out here. And that, I don't think, is going to disappear, but it's going to look a lot better. And you want to go with the grain of the wood. So I'm going to do the whole entire piece, and then I'm going to come back and actually show you what it looks like. Stay tuned. 
Okay, so I applied Howard to the piece, and uh, I did not wipe it off yet, and that's something you need to do. That's why you have um, a little extra rag laying around. And as you can see, it's looking actually much, much better. Um, this is great. So what you need to do is wipe off the excess, which I'm going to do right now. And it is actually like an oil slick. It's very, very slick and very slippery. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to actually wait 30 minutes for the Howard to penetrate the wood. And then what we're going to do is we're going to move on to step number two, which is Howard feed and wax. So stay tuned and let's see what happens on this very, very old tea caddy. Okay, so 30 minutes is up and it's time for the second step, which is Howard feed and wax. So let me just place it down and show you what I do. All right. So actually I did two coats of the Howard Restore finish in mahogany. Um, it's harder to hide blemishes on lighter colored woods. The darker the woods, like dark walnuts and ebony's, um, always uh, come out better. Now um, anything that's heavily flawed, you will still, still see the flaws. Um, it's not a perfect foolproof um, restoration process, which is really not even a restoration process. We're just masking um, as many of the flaws as we can. So here's part two, Howard Restore, um, actually Howard Feed and Wax. And it's a wood polish and conditioner with beeswax and orange oil. So, okay, so what you do is you shake the product up really, really well. And it's very goopy. It's really really goopy as you can see here it's the consi consistency of orange juice all right so then you get a rag laying around your house any kind of rag is fine and by the way if you want to purchase these products there's going to be a link in the description below especially even for the same rags i'm using the steel wool pads the feed and wax and the restore finish all right so what you want to do is apply it in the direction of the grain of the wood and what this does is it conditions and shines your wood and it uh, beautifies it. And when you um, put it on, you wait 20 minutes for it to harden and then you're going to buff it up. And you can see that shine already starting to take place on the piece. And the bottle closed on me. There we go. Get some more of this goopy stuff. And make sure you get it in all the nooks and crannies. Um, there's going to be some places like this spot right here, this little knot, that's going to be uh, thirsty for this stuff. All right, so I'm going to uh, place it on the whole entire piece. Come back with you. Um, in 20 minutes and we're gonna actually I'm gonna buff it out myself you just go in circular motions when it dries and um, keep going around and around in circular motions and you'll be done but you got to wait 20 minutes I'll be back in 20 minutes and I'll show you the finished results hey guys so it's all done and okay while it's not perfect it looks a heck of a lot better um, we still have that knot <laughs> and uh, it took away that big white scuff on the top. It uh, actually evened out the tone. I don't know if you could see that. And uh, now with the polish on it, it's really, really, really very, very shiny, as you can see here. Now, um, since it's a lighter colored wood, of course, you're going to notice a lot more flaws. If it was a darker colored wood, it would have been a lot, lot better. But you can see this uh, beautiful, beautiful old antique tea caddy. Um, actually looks just a heck of a lot better. Now, um, what I did was, I'll show you. Let me just uh, bring this down a moment. I'm going to place it down and show you. So, remember it was missing the knobs? Um, I replaced the knobs. I mean, I didn't have anything that was um, matching the original. But um, 
so I replaced the knobs with these little jewelry box knobs and I kept the original and, and I placed it inside the tea caddy and um, what I did was I just um, used the restore finish on the tops of these little lids here and um, I polished the rest of the edges of the piece as you can see it's shiny um, this has very very old I think paint in there they painted it like a reddish color and uh, yeah this is quite cool Look at that. So they once kept tea in here. And tea was a very, very, very expensive commodity way back in the day. And that's what it looks like inside. Sometimes they would line it with tin. Whoops. <laughs> I lost the lid there for a second. And here's the other one. There's the old knob. That's the original. And you see this uh, very old tin? That's uh, quite cool. That would keep the tea from molding and keep it fresh. So you just place this back and I'll show you the tea caddy one more time the Howard's restore finish is not a cure rule it doesn't make everything look perfect but it actually makes things look a heck of a lot better especially very very old things and uh, here's the back you can see look at the shine so the polish really did a good job and the pigment from the restore finish actually evened out the whole tone of the piece so once again guys thank you so much for watching another one of my videos and have a great day wherever you are in the world See you all soon with another antique restoration.